As part of our engineering focus in the science lab, we wanted to give children a chance to use a design challenge. With a design challenge, teachers set up a problem for the children where there is not as much teacher guidance on the step-by-step -step instructions. Instead, students are given criteria for a project and then they have to come up with the solution on how to solve the problem. For this example, we wanted the students to be able to design a bristle bot. They were given an electric toothbrush and told that they could take the toothbrush apart, find the motor, explore how it works, and see if they could use that motor to create a bristle bot toy that would move across the table in front of them. There were materials provided like wires, batteries, etc., and the students were able to tinker with the different supplies and figure out what would work best to create their bristle bot. This was the next step with engineering where students previously have been guided and instructed more by teachers, and this time we wanted the students to have the criteria but have the freedom to be self-directed and choose the best way to solve the problem. This is happening. Oh, awesome. We just need to get that to take it. Get ready? Line on there. Okay, we need to get this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Would it blow the motor or would it just vibrate faster? No, it would be faster, but it would be so long because it would be like. Yeah, but that would be really heavy. Make it like. It came off. Can we have a uh, brush bot race? Because I know we did that. We have a bristle bot.